Hello everyone, it is your girl Paige. Welcome back to my pick a card video. <clears throat> this is going to be a live shuffling, so there's not there's no pre-shuffled cards. It's gonna be all live shuffle. The title of this is going to be What is the next manifestation headed your way? So what's coming for you next? Um, whether you you've manifested this actively or not, what is the next blessing to come your way? So it could be anything from love career, health, school, whatever I see, I will give you everything. Know that everything will not resonate for you for each pile. It's going to be just take the bits and pieces that make sense to you the most. So the way for you to choose, I'll be using all four of these tarot and the oracle. I'll use all of them for all three piles. I need you to choose an object. This is a Bluetooth speaker, pile one. This is pile two, and the candle is pile three. Um, if you like to choose from afar, pause the video now and take as much time as you need. I always do this, so anyway. Here's a Bluetooth speaker. I kind of like painted on it for some reason. That's pile one. Pile two is this beautiful crystal thing, decor. And pile three is this candle. So, okay guys, I will see you at your pile. Hi there, pile one. You chose the speaker. This is exciting. We're going to see what is going to manifest. For you, what's going to manifest, manifest next in your life. So starting with the tarot. Angels, ancestors of light and pure intentions. Help me with this reading. I already got a card. What's going to manifest manifest next in Pile One's life? We have the Six of Swords. I hear somebody co is coming back. Got the Two of Wands. Somebody is coming back. Let me get all the cards first. Somebody you've been missing is coming back. Take it if it resonates. Four of Swords in reverse. The Knight of Swords. The Hermit. Page of Pentacles. Three of Cups. And the back card is the Empress. But we're not going to look at that one. Alright, so we have the Six of Swords with the Two of Wands, the Four of Swords in Reverse, the Knight of Swords, the Hermit, the Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. So I'm seeing a lot of air. They could be an air sign or you could be an air sign with a little bit of earth and a little bit of water. So if you're in separation with somebody that you're romantically involved with or <laughs> invested in, if that makes sense, like there's somebody you've been crushing on or there's somebody that you're missing, there could have been a ghosting situation, somebody like ghosted or went quiet on you, they're coming back. That's the next thing that's um, manifesting for you if that applies to you. Um, and then I'll get into another one, but first let's just stick to someone's coming back. Somebody from your past is going to come back to you and communicate to you and say that they miss you. They're gonna give you this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They may tell you why they went quiet on you. I'm getting a lot of honesty coming in there was a lot of hot and cold energy, but I'm seeing that being resolved. What other, whatever obstacles that, they, that there were between you and this person are being lifted. There could have been like a snake in the grass, I'm hearing. Like, maybe another person tried to get in between you and this person. And maybe this person was torn between... Like, do I come forward or do I stay in my comfort zone? And they're deciding to take that step. 
um, towards you because they're actually sprinting towards you. I feel like this is rather soon. Like you can hear from this person rather soon. Um, they've been in deep contemplation. So have you. You could be starting something with work and it's going to be successful, but it's going to be slow progress. Anyway, so with the love interest, if you're in separation with somebody, expect them to communicate to you soon. And that's like the main thing for those that resonate with that message. And then for other people, you're like traveling somewhere. You're headed in a new direction. This could be about work. Maybe you're taking a little vacation, some time to yourself, maybe. Um, away from the noise and hustle and bustle. I think there's a lot of celebration coming your way on either side. There's a lot of happiness coming towards you. Especially if you've been going through a really rough emotional like time. Like there's been a lot of emotional turmoil. I'm seeing that you might also meet your soul tribe soon. So there's a lot going on for you, Pile One. Um, it could be somebody from your past is coming back. It could be you traveling, meeting your soul tribe, something to do with work, finding out what you're meant to do, what path to take. Maybe you're going to get some clarity. And if you resonate with everything I said, if everything sounds right, then it could be all, like, all those things are coming your way next. I'm seeing happiness all across the board for you, Pile One. Um, especially if you've been rather lonely lately. You could have been in this hermit mode where you're kind of isolating. There's some grief. I'm feeling like there could be some grief going on in your life, perhaps or loss, or end of a friendship, or something. Um, so you've been rather lonely. It's been a solitary journey. Um, but I'm seeing that you're going to come out of that. Somebody's going to almost, like, push you to the public. Like, if you have social anxiety or something like that, there's going to be a friend or somebody that's going to, like, push you to be more social, or out of your, like, push you out of your comfort zone and your bubble. Um, I, I definitely hear a lot of laughter coming your way, so I can hear you and somebody else laughing, whether it is a love interest or a friend or like a new friend or existing friend or family member, um, your moods are, your mood is going to be elevated. That is something that's manifesting for you. And also I'm getting action. It's going to be time for action. So maybe you were in this restful period where it felt like everything was stagnant and things were slow moving and nothing was really happening. You were told to like be patient, be still, rest. Like it was slow. You were bored basically. And now with the Four of Swords in reverse, it's time for you to like get out of your cave. Your rest has come to completion and you're ready to go now. You're ready to do the next step. There's a lot of things coming for you, a lot of um, opportunities headed your way. I do see the lot of you being successful. Some of you may be opening your own business. Um, you're going to be your own boss, have your own enterprise. Maybe you're in business school and you're going to complete that with fine colors. I'm hearing nail salon, so some of you might want to open your own nail salon. Very specific message. But there's somebody that you're longing for right now. And I do feel that this applies for, for all of you. There's somebody that you're missing. Um, it doesn't have to be a love interest. It could be a friend that you haven't spoken to or hung out with in a while. Um, there's this longing. Um, and yeah, it could definitely be romance though someone coming back. Someone is missing you heavily right now if you're in separation. Um, and I see that if that applies to you, the very first thing that's going to manifest for you in your life is not only are they going to come back, but you're going to get the truth. You're going to finally get the grand reveal is what I'm hearing. You're going to get 
what you've been hoping to hear from them. Yeah, I just, I see like this grand reveal thing, like an, like a runway opening. So I don't know, this person is going to express to you all the things they kept hidden. Um, and I think it has to do about their feelings and what they kept secret. It's going to make you really happy. You might start dating this person. But I'm hearing like one step at a time, like it's just going to come naturally, like don't some of you might be like me where you're control freaks and you're being told to loosen your grip. Um, be playful with this person because there is a lot of playful energy. Again, this doesn't have to be romance. This could be with a friend. But there's some deep conversation um, heading your way, whether that be an apology, someone opening up their feeling, opening up to their feelings of you and letting you know how they feel for you. Something you've been waiting for is coming and it has to do with a relationship of some kind, but I also do see career as well. Communication is the main thing I'm getting. Let's keep going. What is manifesting next in pile one's life? We have guilt. We have joy. I did sense that. We have acceptance. And workaholic. And quest. Hold on, I'm trying to settle a little bit. So you have guilt, joy, acceptance, workaholic. Oh, you can't see. Workaholic and quest. So there's a lot of happiness coming your way, Pile One. I'm getting summer vibes from this imagery. So maybe there's something going to happen. Something's going, I cannot talk today. Something great is going to happen to you in the summertime or maybe early autumn. Maybe you're going to come into this state of acceptance. I feel like this is more personal, personalized in your life. I don't think this has anything to do with a relationship, though it could be. But I think this is talking about you accepting the way things were, accepting how things were in your past that might have been difficult or challenging for you. You might be healing from that. Um, You may... Have some guilt. I don't think this guilt is from your side, though. You might have some guilt about something, but I think this is about somebody else. Like the person that I picked up who's coming your way. Friendship, family, whatever. Lover. I think they have some regret here. And I think this is that energy. They're going to express all of that to you. You're going to be heavily involved in work. You're definitely building up some type of empire here. It's slow and steady progress, but you're going to get there. You're going to get the recognition. Um, you're definitely putting in a lot of work in the future. Or you are doing that now, and it's going to pay off. And you're going to go on a journey. This could talk about a spiritual journey, a literal traveling journey, or a quest with somebody significant, perhaps. It's just going to depend, but for all of you, look forward to happy days ahead, happy times ahead, a lot of laughter, healing too, a lot of blessings, and abundance. Whoa. Ooh, we have Aphrodite, romantic love. Romance is in the air, Pile One. Romance is a bloomin'. We got Gula healing. So that's what I was definitely getting. Healing's coming your way or it's in the process right now. Emotionally, maybe something from your past that was hard or traumatic. Ooh, and Isis, rebirth. 
I do think this is about a connection. Okay, it could be personal as well. And lastly, we have Saraswati Mastery. I love this card. So mastering some type of craft that you've been working on, something that has to do with your creativity, maybe your intuition, maybe your intellect. I'm getting healer vibes from this pile. You could be a light worker or a healer, okay? And this rebirth right here is talking about if you aren't talking to anyone or if there's nobody from your past, romantically speaking, this could be a rebirth in your life personally. Like maybe if you're in this period of stagnation and boredom, it's going to be like this enhancement where everything's going to seem to come to life and you're going to have a lot of opportunities coming your way. There's going to be a vibrancy in your life force. But for a lot of you, this is talking about a connection. Mm -hmm. That ended. Someone is going to come forward to you because you're like their Aphrodite. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of love, a lot of feelings from them to you, and they haven't been expressed fully or at all, and they're going to be. Like, that is the next thing you have to look forward to, which is very exciting news. I'm so happy for you guys, Pile One. Um, you could be in communication with them now. It may not be a separation thing, but it's, like, kind of dry, like the the dialogue or the what am I trying to say some of you are married and the passion has waned it's gonna re-enhance or like re vibrate I guess and then if you are in a friendship with this person and there's no separation but there's romantic feelings like somebody is going to come to you and tell you hey I do have feelings for you do you have feelings for me and then some of you are in separation with somebody. They're going to come back to you and tell you, like, I missed you so much. I, I want to be with you. Um, I'm not saying it's going to happen all at once. Like, immediately when you hear from them, they're going to tell you then and there. I, I highly doubt it, but it will happen soon. Um, you can believe that. There's some type of transformation. I think spirit guides are at work within you and within that person. This is a strong spiritual connection. Yeah. But this is in the process right now. You're going through healing right now. And it may be uncomfortable, it may be unsettling, but healing is definitely finished. It's, it's not finishing. It's processing. And the uncomfortable or difficult challenges that you've been facing is coming to a close is what I'm getting, like it's gonna end. Your hardships are coming to an end, your loneliness, your sadness is coming to an end. Last but not least, let's see what the tea leaf cards have to say. What is manifesting next in pile one's life? All right. Oh, okay, so let me just get these. Sorry, my nails make it so hard. Okay, we have the yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Bag, something important such as a new job or a raise. Mm, promotion could be coming. We have shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So... Play, pay close attention to your spending habits. Quill, get back to the basics. This is giving me more create, creative vibes, workaholic vibes. We have Vulture. Wow. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. But look, finally. <laughs> These are kind of heavy. Um, we have Throne. You're going to own your power, step into your power. Maybe there's some leadership. You're going to be a leader or something, a voice to many. Position of authority. So you're going to be in this, it's not literal. You know what I'm trying to say. You're going to be in this boss-ass position, energy. Like your own boss is what I'm getting for some of you. Um, you could be getting a raise. 
where you might find a new job or there might be a new opportunity with work coming your way. Um, this vulture shark yoke, I think this is your how you're feeling presently. You're currently feeling like you're you're um, stuck, so you're frustrated. You might be feeling like you're in quicksand or you're tied down or in a situation you want to get out of, but you can't seem to get out of. And you may be a little bit depressed and anxious at this time, or you might be worrying about things out of your control. That's what I'm getting is present. But every all the struggles you've been facing, Pile One, is just elevating you to your to your throne. All the challenges, all the battles you've overcome, you have overcome them, okay? Pat yourself on the back for how far you've come, Pile One. Don't underestimate your value or your growth. You've been through a lot is what I'm feeling, and you're going to get to success. Success is coming your way. Success in love. Success in career and wealth and in happiness. Success everywhere is destined for you. And I think love is the main focal point that's coming next. So wink, wink, you got the love one. Thank you so much for joining me, Pile One. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for my future videos that I'll post. Until next time, guys. Bye. Hi there, Pile Two. Welcome in. You chose this right here. So we're going to see what is manifesting next in your life. Again, not everything I say will apply or resonate to you. Just take the things that do. I'm going to start with the tarot. What is manifesting what is manifesting next in Pile Two's life? Goodness creatures. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors of light and pure intention, help me with this reading. What is manifesting next for Pile 2? We have the Seven of Pentacles. I'm hearing child. The hangman in reverse. The Three of Wands. Some of you have been wanting to get pregnant. The wheel. The ace of pentacles. Judgment. And the queen of swords. Wow. Okay, let me say the cards one by one. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Hangman in Reverse, the Three of Wands, the Wheel, the Ace of Pentacles, the Judgment card, and Queen of Swords. Boss ass energy. So again, take only the things that are resonating to your situation. Some of you are trying to get pregnant or you want to get pregnant and maybe you've had failed um, like attempts at it of getting, getting pregnant. Um, I do see that you are going to conceive soon. I mean, conceive. Is that the word? I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> like, um, you're going to be pregnant, and it's going to be successful if that's what you are wishing. Um, and some of you are getting married, like you're engaged to somebody, and... Mar the marriage is not too far away. Something's going to be sorted out. I know with everything going on, but there's going to be some type of deal or like doorway, some blessing, a miracle where you can do it with your family and loved ones. Others of you have been waiting for an opportunity to come your way. Um, and this is talking about career. You've been waiting for something or you've been chasing your goals and it seems like you've been like you've been at a dead end or there's been nothing but impasse after impasse after impasse. Um, there's definitely going to be a new job coming your way or a new opportunity. Um, maybe you're at a job you cannot stand and you've been looking for a better job. You're going to find one. You're definitely going to find one. Um, 
put yourself out there is what I want to say. Like, go on Indeed. Even if you don't get one of the jobs, like, don't quit. Keep going because... Yeah, there's some of you that cannot stand where you're working. You know you're at a dead-end job, but yet you have to keep it because it, it's keeping you afloat. It's giving you money. So don't quit, um, but apply and look at other places. I, I do see you're going to land somewhere else, and it's going to be um, more ideal for you. There's definitely the sense of an opportunity. So... This, to me, is talking more career, like your purpose. Um, and I'm getting, yeah, this is more financial. So this is, so financial gain, financial success, a financial opportunity is coming your way soon, pile two. Because fate is on your side. I was going to say luck, but for some reason I don't like the word luck. Fate is on your side. There are, like, let's just say... What am I trying to say? Divine timings at work here. Things are shifting. Favor is on your side. Um, so yeah, a lot of you have been waiting for, or you've been applying it everywhere, and it's as if every place keeps denying you or rejecting your application. Um, there's been some type of pause. Some of you aren't working right now. Um, and you're unsure about getting back out there, I think you're going to find a job that's perfect for you and your needs. There's like this dream job is what I'm getting, like in this pile. Um, you could come into a place of abundance as well. Like maybe you're going to come across a large sum of money. Um, whether that be like from a will or somebody's going to give you a loan or something like that. Some of you are wanting your, to get another house or move to another place. You're going to get that. You're going to find a house that is affordable and in a great area. Yeah, so it's different for all of you. I'm getting some of you want to get pregnant. You're going to, some of you want to move to another place you're going to some of you want to find a better job and leave your other one you're going to um money is a big plus like money is <laughs> something that's going to flow your way soon you're not going to stress out about it some of you are stressing about your financial situation some of you have children and you're like how am i supposed to provide for my kids how am I supposed to pr provide for myself? Um, don't worry. Don't stress out. Like, take a deep breath. There's a need for you to, like, believe. Believe in divine timing. Um, like, let go of control, even though that's easier said than done. Know that favor is... Things are working out in your favor and things are shifting. And there's going to be an opportunity presenting itself that's going to offer you a large sum of money or put you in a position where you can make a lot of money. Um, and your, your period of stagnation or waiting is coming to an end. It's coming to a close. Um, some of you are going to be doctors. Some of you might be... In law school something that has to do with your speech so you could be a teacher you aspire to be a teacher a counselor a professor um, you're gonna be very successful pile two I see a lot of success all around um, in your future it's gonna work out you've been putting in a lot of hard work the universe is commending you Keep going after your goals. Keep going after what you want. Don't give up. Mm. And don't lose hope either. Something is really going to almost appear like out of the sky for you. Whether you're already at a job of good standing, like let's say you're at a job that you like and you feel stable in, you might get a promotion suddenly. You're at a job you can't stand. You're going to find a job that pays better and, you're, and it meets your needs more. You might even start your own business. 
And somebody's going to give you a loan and help you, like, start things off. Mm-hmm. You're going to be financially taken care of. And you're going to be so stable that you would, that you will get to a point where you can help loved ones close to you who may be struggling. Yeah. All of you are hard workers. I'm seeing that a lot of you are, are really hard workers, regardless of where you think you are or whether you're proud of yourself or not. You're hard workers and you're determined and that determination is going to get you places. Let's keep going and see if there's anything else. What's coming for pile two? Ooh, passion. Ooh, we got passion. Maybe a passion project. Miracle. Mm -hmm. Insecurity. Forgiveness. Trickery. And faith. Okay. So we have passion, miracle, insecurity, forgiveness, trickery, and faith. Um, somebody could have backstabbed you. Could have been a family or there was just gossip from a friend. I'm getting a lot of gossipy vibes. Somebody could have hurt your feelings, pile two. Whoever they are, if that resonates for you, um, maybe you should just set up stronger boundaries. Uh, whether you let them back in or not, that's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but there is this need to forgive them. Um, and you know how the saying goes, forgiving someone is not for them, it's for your benefit because you don't want to carry that around you, like in your system. It's good to forgive, to release that. So I think you're going to come into a place of forgiveness. If somebody did you wrong or cut you off or gossiped behind your back. You might be insecure about where you are right now. Um, maybe you're not where you'd like to be again career-wise. You may not be working maybe. Um, or maybe you're at like a low-end job or a job that you're not proud of. So there's some a little, there's some insecurity here regarding your finances. Maybe you hide your struggles or that you've been struggling. Um, and there could be gossip about that, about what you do for work or if you're unemployed. People could be, you know, saying snide or my side remarks. But there's going to be a miracle coming your way. There's going to be some type of abundance flowing in where you're going to be taken care of. Your your needs are not going to just be met. They're going to be... <laughs> it's going to be overflow, like overflow and more. You're going to be taken care of above and beyond. You could be... You could find a passion project or a hobby, like this passion of yours. It could be something with creativity or just anything. It doesn't have to be creativity. It could be like if you're into agriculture and you're passionate for that, like it could be that. If you're passionate for mathematics, like it could be that. And this passion project or whatever you come across, um, some of you came like out of nowhere, this passion project. This is going to lead to that miracle. You, ha Your faith has been tested for sure, pile two. I'm getting, um, you've been through struggles. And I'm not just talking about financial struggles, but like a lot of struggles. But mostly, I'm mostly getting like financially. Um, your faith has been tested and you've, You've done well, like you're going to get blessed miraculously by something because you're, you've been patient, you've been enduring, you had strong endurance, perseverance, and it's going to be rewarded. Like your patience is going to be rewarded. Mm -hmm. But there's the need to forgive somebody. 
And then I think it's someone who said, who said like snide nasty remarks behind your back and you found out about it and it hurt you deeply. And maybe that could be leading into your insecurity here, but you're going to heal from this. Like you're going to be so successful. Like this insecurity is going to be a little fly that like goes out the window and whatever it is, whatever miracle lands on your lap is going to make you very prosperous. But it's also something that's going to fulfill you in every way. You're never going to get bored at this job. Okay, let's keep going. What's coming next for pile two? Okay, that message is coming out twice. We have Parvati, devotion. Shakti, transformation. And then we have Branwen, forgiveness. We have this forgiveness that came out a second time. So yeah, there is a need for you to forgive let go of resentment and bitterness. Um, some of you even go as, are going as far as like plotting revenge where you're thinking about getting revenge on somebody. Don't. No. No, no. That's not going to do anything but hurt you in the end. Um, whether this was somebody who betrayed your trust, whether it's somebody who gossiped behind your back, whether they say sorry to you or not, um... Forgive them in your heart. It's, this doesn't have to happen immediately. Um, it could be a work in progress, but there's definitely a height. This is very specific and it's heightened message that there's forgiveness that needs to be done here from your end. You're going through a transformation right now, presently. And I think this is more spiritually speaking. And you're like ascending you're going through a growth process you could be spiritual or religious people um because i'm getting that with the devotion prayer hands and the faith card so you could be religious um close to the divine close to god um and you're having god as your source of strength which is helping you by far like it's helping you um, and he, God's going to bless you tremendously for sure. Um, and again, I'm getting, I'm getting children. Some of you want to have a child. You're going to be blessed with that gift one way or another. It's going to happen for you. Last but not least get some last messages ah oh that's so so many way too many i'm gonna have i'm gonna lay them all out first and then read them one by one i'm really happy for you pile two oh sorry about that oh my gosh i'm so sorry about that A lot we got a lot here camel persevere and you will overcome problems crown honor and respect will come to you ear good news so some good news is coming your way we have eagle triumph over troubles and obstacles beautiful energy Kite vacation, so you could be going on a vacation. Lovely. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. I'm also getting like your dreams come true, are coming true. 
We have dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. This could be someone you have a grievance with or a misunderstanding with. Um, and this is this could be the person that you need to, um, you know, forgive. Bird flying. News is on the way, so expect good news. We have skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. And last but not least, we have the mountain road. You are on the road to success. This is the, the, the perfect way to end this reading. Pile two, you are on the road to success. You're going to have your mountaintop moment. Miracles are heading your way, okay? You're going to overcome and rise from all of your obstacles. Thank you so much, Pile two, for joining me. I enjoyed doing this reading. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it and be on the lookout for my future videos that I will post. Until next time, guys, bye. Last but not least, hi there, Pile 3. Welcome in. You chose this beautiful candle right here. So we're going to see what is manifesting next in your life, what blessing is coming next in your life. Let's start with the tarot. Angels, ancestors of light and pure intentions. Call me with this reading. What is manifesting next in pile three's life? It's coming next for pile three. Don't worry, I'll read them out one by one once I'm done. This one wants to come out too. We have a lot of cards. This pile has the most cards, of, like most tarot that wanted to come out. Okay. We have, oh goodness gracious. <laughs> we have the moon, the ace of wands, the eight of wands, the sun, um, the hierophant, the two of cups, the knight of wands, temperance, and the ten of cups. This is love, love, love. Mysteries. There were a lot of hidden secrets that are going to be Ill illusioned. Is that the word? Whatever illusions there were, they're going to be removed. This is a very, very powerful um, pile. Um, because we have the moon and the sun. And that talks about a duality of the divine feminine and divine masculine. It also talks about mystery and everything coming to light. So there could be something that you're confused with with a romantic partner. Maybe you feel like they've kept secrets from you or they're not telling you everything. Maybe they haven't expressed to you exactly how they feel or how deep their feelings are or how deep their feelings lie. Some of you are going to get married. Some of you, if you're dating somebody right now, or you're with someone, you've been with someone for a long time, you're about to get married or engaged. Marriage is in the cards here. Um, depending on where you are in standing with your person currently, uh, if you're single, you're going to meet the love of your life. Um, some of you, if you, I'm not really getting separation for a lot of you, but for a few of you, and not for all of you who are in separation will this message apply, but use your intuition. Some of you who are separated from a love interest, y'all are going to reconcile mm -hmm. and make like amend from your differences. Have a one to like a heart to heart conversation and like be together. You might be with this person, like date them. 
but marriage is in the cards for quite a lot of you, um, or engagement. Again, this is talking about union. You could meet the, your soulmate if you're single. Mm-hmm. There is this need for like a halt, like there's like a halt or a pause. Maybe there's been a pause in your love life or some of you are like, what love life? <laughs> and so there was like this pause here, but I'm just getting like two people being brought together by like your angels and there's been patience, like things needing to work out or be sorted out behind the scenes. Somebody is going to communicate to you soon. Um, if you're dating this person or engaged to this person, they're going to have a deep conversation with you about something significant, maybe about having kids. If you are in separation, they're going to contact you over the phone to like go on a date or just do something and they might then and there give you a heart-to-heart -heart conversation if you're single like you could travel somewhere maybe you're gonna go on a little road trip by yourself or with a few friends and you're gonna meet somebody of importance when you're traveling there's gonna be a lot of passion and chemistry between you and this person or there is passion and chemistry between you and this person. There's going to be a lot of like sensual pleasures. <laughs> I'm sensing that there's definitely been some type of mystery here though. Like they kept something from you. Not necessarily malicious. I'm not saying malicious or anything, but they haven't been completely honest with you, but they're going to be. I'm getting yin and yang. Uh, so maybe if this person was more of a passive person, they're going to take the more active role, you know, and pursue you. There's definitely, you might even move in with this person uh, soon. Uh, even if you're not, okay. Even if you're not yet in a boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 boyfriend, boyfriend, place right now you could still move in with them pretty soon for a few of you I'm seeing you two living together before like things get really serious between the two of you mm-hmm like sharing expenses like maybe it will be so that you and they could get their your own place and just share the rent half and half it's going to build from there. A lot of you are about to get engaged or a lot of you that are engaged are about to get married. That's a very strong message. You're going to meet the love of your life or you're going to meet your soulmate if you're single. If you are separated, you're going to get back together with them and it's going to progress. and get to a higher level of commitment or something like that. Maybe not right off the bat, but this is very powerful energy. There's nothing like soft or mild about this pile. Um, powerful, powerful change is coming your way. Why? Because you've been patient. You've been patient, pile three. All right. Um, Whatever situation you're in, whether you're with someone or not, like, you've been patient. And, yeah, you're about to see a huge miracle coming your way in regards to love and romance. Okay. Yeah, this is a soulmate energy. This could even be twin flame with the moon and the sun. This is very powerful. I very rarely see the moon and the sun out in the same spread like this is very rare uh this is divine feminine this is divine masculine so if you resonate with twin flames this could definitely be a twin flame thing 
Um, and you might work with this person somehow, or you are working with them or opening up, you might open a business with them. Success I'm getting is, is a lot going on for you. I'm so happy for you. Let's see if there's any more messages. Okay, what's coming next? What blessings are coming next for pile three? Ooh, stronger sense of self-worth. Confidence. Might be some gossip though, haters. You're coming into a place, a state of enlightenment. Which is definitely great. It's going to lead to a lot of success. Despondence. Acceptance. And grief. Alright, I feel like this is past energy and present energy. Some of you might have lost a pet. I'm so sorry if, that, if that's the case. Or you lost a loved one. Um, I'm sorry about that as well. Some of you have been really lonely. This kind of ties in with pile one. You could have had a painful past, whether it's with somebody or not, like it's some traumatic experience in your life, and you're coming into a place of accepting, accepting it. Um, maybe you have some resentments towards the past, or you're holding on to like bitterness a little bit, but you're going to come to a state of acceptance. I see a lot of love coming your way, which could definitely help this acceptance process. Um, there's a feeling of lack here, like you're dissatisfied with life or there's something dissatis that you're dissatisfied with. Um, but you're on this journey of enlightenment. Uh, you're on your, you're on the right path, basically. You're doing your purpose. You're about to actively step into your purpose you're also going to heal you might have some body image issues right now or just confidence issues that's going to resolve itself as well you're going to see yourself in a higher light but there might be gossip okay so gossip i'm saying there this could be future tense like there could be some people gossiping or some people not happy about the success you're about to step into Okay, like they could be happy in your face, but like secretly they're like plotting or wishing for your downfall. So that's not going to stop you though. Um, you're going to live your best life regardless if, if haters are going to hate. But I do see that this is one of the most significant cards is acceptance. Knowing you can't change the past. Knowing that yeah, however difficult your past was, um, it's grown you and it's taking you, it's elevating you to a position of victory and success. And maybe you're going to be a healing light to other people. You might be a light worker, a healer. There's been some lonely periods in your life. You could have recently lost someone very close, near and dear to you. But you're, you're, there's a lot of heart chakra healing that's going on right now, presently, in your life. There's some things that you're working out. and um, You're seeing yourself in a better light. You could be getting close to your faith, or you could be close to God right now. That being really important to you. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. What blessings are coming into Pile 3's life? Ooh, I love this card so much. Merry Miracles. Expect Miracles. I'm hearing the song When You Believe. It's from the movie Prince of Egypt. Miracles do happen when you believe. Uh, though hope is frail, it's hard to kill. Alright, so 
We have Mary Miracles. We have Ishtar Communion. I'm getting home. Okay, that's okay. Anyway, we have Yuki Ana Stillness. We have Maya Illusion. And we have, uh, is that an H? Yeah, Hestia, I believe. Home. You're going to find home. Home is going to be different for all of you. Um, some of you, like, your definition of home is family. Mm -hmm. Or a sense of belonging. Maybe home to you is the love of your life. Uh, someone that you love very deeply and to you they are your home. Uh, maybe you're not interested in like having love right now in your life, but home to you is like just having your own place to call your own. Like having your own space um, and that's home. You're going to find whatever home is, whatever the word home means to you is what is coming your way or what you're, what is going to unfold in your life. Uh, you've been wishing for something, it's going to come true. You've been in a period of, like, revigoration or things have could have been slow for you lately. Or you feel like things have been so slow. Um, but that is coming to an end. But know that that was very much needed. So you could, um, recuperate. You've been through a very heavy, traumatic heavy traumatic transformative experience spiritually speaking like a tower moment i'm seeing you're gonna be in contact with somebody this could be like you and love several loved ones or just you and somebody very near and dear to your heart um there's like a gathering maybe you've been isolated a little bit and you're going to come out of that hermit mode and whatever illusions you had, whatever, I'm seeing like, it looks like she's crying. You could have been crying a lot. You're coming into a place of happiness. And whatever you were confused about, this could be about your career. You could be confused about where you're headed. This could be about a love situation. You're confused about how, where they stand or how their feelings are. For you, you're going to come into clarity with whatever it is that is probing you the most. And this miracles is starting off with like healing within your life force, like within your spirit. Uh, that's where everything's going to start out. Like spiritually speaking, you're going to feel more vibrant and alive and restored. And then after that, everything else is going to kind of just unfold. Mm -hmm. You may not even, you might not heal all the way before other stuff comes in, but you're near, you're near done. Or maybe you being with somebody else might help that process. I don't really know. But this is loud, this home card. You're going to find your sense of home. Somewhere where your heart is, you're going to have that. That's very beautiful. Mm. Being close to somebody. Alright, last but not least, let's get some tea leaf messages. What is coming next for pile three? Let me just lay them all out first. Some of you did lose a, a dog or a pet. I'm sorry to hear that. Alrighty, there's a lot here. We have bread, period of prosperity and abundance. This is coming your way. We have... Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. <laughs> Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Okay. 
Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Yes. Some of you are like, I'm ready for some action in my life. Seahorse, family matters. Maybe getting closer to your family. Firecracker, excitement. This is what you've been really wanting, Pile 3. I feel you. You've been missing out on this for a very long time. It's coming your way. Dolphin, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. So you could be getting closer to some older woman that's in your life. Um, family member, mentor or something. Tent, temporary situation. Dogs, getting together with friends. Or meeting new friends. Ladder, climbing towards success. And last but not least, dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. Okay, so you could be in separation with a friend. Or this could be talking about someone you're romantically invested with, I don't know, that has like a basis of friendship. Great things are coming your way. Powerful changes are coming your way, pile three. Um... I'm seeing it in love mostly in your home life as well and family, but also with career. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified of all my future content and be on the lookout for my future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Kisses. Bye.